All right, I'm. Am I on the main street now? For real this time? <laughs> Alright, we're ready for the test. Alright, I guess I'm gonna start and then explain as we go along because there's gonna be a lot of down a downtime at the at the beginning of the run, so I guess let's go back to the beginning. And I guess we're I guess the the, the video starts with reset because due to how task timing works, but I guess w since Sam is doing the restreaming, you'll know when to when to start and stop. So all right, we're going to start the video in 3, 2, 1, go. All right, so this is Harvest Moon 64, Kieran Mar Marriage. So we will have a lot of downtime, as I said, to explain what's going on with this task, just because there's the, the first half of the run will be spent doing practically nothing. So in order to marry a girl in this in this game because yes you can only play as a boy and marry girl since it was one of the first harvest moon games you will need you will need to get 220 affection with a girl as well as in a, an act of pure sexism buy a chick a kitchen for her and i swear that is an actual requirement so now we've completed the first day. We basically decline a tutorial where where the mayor like gives us a tour of the village. But now we're gonna be sleeping for about 12 minutes or so, just skipping days. And the reason for that is because the only season that we care about in this task is winter because it uh, it has all the good stuff in it. So, in order to get affection, normally you would need to talk to a girl like once, uh, once, maybe with a gift each day in order to actually get enough affection, but Karen is glitched and we will do all the affection in one day because this it, the flag was set improperly when you basically show your jug to Karen, so you can basically show her your jug and get the affection for for it, which is plus one over and over. And with that, we're gonna be able to do all of it in one day. Now, as far as the kitchen, uh, as far as the kitchen goes. We will need money, and we will need the lumber in order to do that. And in order to do that, for the money, we will be we will not be doing cow the cow work in fall. We will not be well. Actually, we will be doing some of the hot spring work in winter, but. Pretty much all of our money is gonna come from mining because mining is OP in this game, and the reason why you don't ever see that in sp in real time speedruns is because it's super random. But with a task, you can manipulate uh, the luck in your favor and basically get what you want each time. So. But and as far as the lumber goes, well, the fa this is why we're basically skipping all the way to winter is because we will get all of our lumber in one day by w winning the dog race, which is on winter 19. Now that I've explained the whole route, it's time to wait for... Oh, for it's time to wait to, for Jack to actually get the winter so that we can actually start doing everything. Because we will. We, 12 minutes of sleeping is a lot of sleeping. Remember to sleep well, kids, it's important. I 
I don't think it's on my side that there's music. Alright, so now we're in summer. We, ha we only have two more seasons to skip. Alright, nice. Now we don't have double music. So yeah, I think I counted I counted it like last night and I think we go to bed 98 times before actually doing something besides de declining the tutorial. And we're we're basically halfway through sleep the sleep at this point. Also, yes, I did. Uh, like, I should probably mention that this game, this run, is done on the Japanese version of this game, mainly because the text is way faster and because the lore is not so important in this run. Like, for whatever reason, in this game, for what, like, not only is the English text slower by the fact that there's more characters to basically print. Natsume also considered that it was a good option to basically put a space between each character in the English version. So the text basically scrolls twice as slow. Look at all this bad weather that doesn't even matter. What could go wrong with bad weather like that? <laughs> But it's nice because we don't have chickens, because chickens don't give a whole lot of affection with Karen. Yep, it's pretty much like that, that the English text does prints for an guy. Except, like, when you put a space between words, it's in fact three spaces. But obviously you cannot put, do that in a Twitch chat. <laughs> yeah, there's no problem. Like you would be like it. It's probably hard to believe, but the first day of the task took me longer to task than the next 100 days, just because I only had to do one set of input to go from like eating the rice ball to saving, and I could basically co copy paste it like a hundred times. Because. Vizok is good, and the fact that it does let you do that, just copy and puts over and over. And in the in the newer versions, they even have a co an option where it you can clone an amount of times some inputs. All right, one more season to go through. Hell yeah, the fall music. So good. But yeah. 
for the, the RPA runners out there, just know that the, the optimal input for sleeping is to press A once to op open the text box, then two frames later, you press A another time to, I think, to close the first text boxes, but for the th the th for the 30 presses, it's three frames later. Because for whatever reason, the first text box takes one frame to close, instead of closing instantly. Alright, almost there. Something I will note though during this sleep section is that I didn't know until I tested that the the loading zone like between two days and winter is one frame faster. Like it it could be because of winter itself, but I'm pretty sure it's because on winter one all the cro like all the weed gets killed on your farmland and like that's my theory behind that. So I, so for for the first time I was like, all right, I'm just gonna pee it, copy the inputs until I get to to winter. But then I noticed that like that the movie desynced at some point, and I was like, huh, interesting. Yeah. Winter is just really good in general because it gives you money, it gives you like all the lumber. So so when we so when we're talking about a speedrun, like I feel like most of them just go straight to winter or at least like do do the most important parts there. So we were we as I said before we're not doing the cow work just because it's still slow. We're instead gonna be all of it getting all the money from mining. Also, yes, yeah, that. <laughs> I can't, like when I test this, like I completely forgot that this like earthquake existed, <laughs> so that also caused the desync, and it might made me laugh because it it normally happens on Winter Seven, which I think it did, and on this run, but it it's not always on Winter Seven. It can be on like three different days or something. All right, now it's time for the action to begin. Finally, we've reached Winter 12. This is where the run really starts. <laughs> so for this day, we will focus on money. We will get a quick 100 gold from doing the hot spring work. But the reason for why we're doing the hot spring work is not really for the money, it's for the fact that it warps us to 3 p.m. 
because the only way you can exit the mine in this game is if you actually run out of stamina, which takes forever. You need a hundred hits with your hoe to, in order to do that. Or you reach 5, a. 5 p.m. and it's much faster to do that. By the way, let's see how hard it is to get three, four, five rare medals. Alright, we're so far away at two. Three. Four. And the last one was really hard to get. We need to wait a more. And with that, we're just in time to actually leave the leave the mine because it's 5 p.m. Do not try this at home until you're unless you're re, re, you're ready to reset a lot. Because you you only have like 14 swings if you if you like try to just swing as fast as you can. <laughs> also, we, we will not be depositing all of our rare, rare metals right now, just because the pausing on the farmland uh, on the farmland takes uh, like freezes the game for like three extra seconds or something. It's a lot longer on emulator, but sadly, it has to be done once in this run. <laughs> so the next day that we'll, we're actually going to be doing stuff is the dog race. The dog race day. And I'm going to be sorry to disappoint what some of you guys, but we will not be seeing some 50 odd dog in this run just because it would have taken it would have taken like too much time spent waiting in order to actually manip manipulate the RNG for what like the ma the actual menuing saves. Sometimes you gotta go with whatever is realistic to get. And with that, we bet we just bet 20, 20 on a 26 hot dog, which was the best option to get, get given the RNG that I got. And. If you're wondering, like how money-wise, what the what this what the this the cost of what I gave was, it costs zero because I press B to exit the menu, and they forget to actually clear your bets when you press B to leave the menu. Also, fun fun little glitch: if you try to leave the room right as the dog race starts, you just clear the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we have our money, we have our lumber. Now it's time to actually build the ch the kitchen and then and then get the the life affection. So yeah, you can see that we kind of have to pause once there and. It takes forever on emulator because the game is way laggier for whatever reason. Also, that was a really slow text box skip there because we ha that was RNG minutes for NPC spawns. So this is winter 20 and we're gonna be buying the kitchen right now. But while we're waiting for the actual carpenter to actually show up, we're gonna do some fun stuff. <laughs> A 
and before actually talking talking to the carpenter, we will be clearing this cutscene. And for whatever reason, I don't know what is going on with the emulation, but the vineyard runs as a, at a solid 15 FPS when you have the dog shown on screen. <laughs> on screen this is why i had to drop it before actually going there because i managed to save half a second on lag just from not having the dog on screen but even then you could see that it was quite laggy Something I didn't know until I, I test this, if you can actually use this menu with the dog in your hands. And while we think, hey, here's Karen. And now it's time to actually do the affection part, so we're gonna show her the dog 220 times in order to get her to a high enough affection for the marriage. And if you're wondering why I'm talking to Karen from below as opposed to from above, it's for leg reduction because it's it could probably be really hard to notice, but I actually in this section, like in this spamming section, I'm actually losing like five to ten seconds on leg. Like you're probably gonna notice that some text boxes are slightly longer than others. Doesn't seem too clever, indeed. Oh yeah, like I should probably explain like why I cleared the vineyard cutscene. It's because we're actually gonna be proposing in the vineyard. Just because, just because with the remaining days that we're gonna have, like, it, the vineyard is, not, is the only place where we'll be able to do it. So the reason, like, why I had a, such a slow text box while sleeping the previous day is because I wanted to first manipulate Karen to spawn here since she only has a 25% chance of being there but I also wanted to manipulate the carpenter and potpourri from not being there to save on lag since they can both be there and be but because of that they would like the game by the way you can know when a, a text box is done frame perfectly because you don't see the heart in the corner and you don't see Karen like changing direction bet between between text boxes. Yep, some of the of, of the spawns in this game are actually random. And here I had to manipulate three of them. And before sleeping, we're actually gonna go in the vineyard a second time for seemingly no reason, but it's actually to clear the ankle event. So, past a certain number of affection, you will be seeing Karen, like, in the in the vineyard. Uh, after having sprained her ankle, and we want to clear that, otherwise it will prevent us from actually proposing later. So now we we pretty much only need to wait for the kitchen to be built and to get the blue feather. 
And you can see right now that because the door spawned on the left wall, we have to check the kitchen right now, so... Now, now we're just waiting for a, a day where we can actually buy the kitchen and have Karen still show up. But while waiting for Rick to actually open, it's time to do some more fun stuff. I really run out of ideas after that one, not, not gonna lie. <laughs> but yeah, here's the blue feather now. Now it's finally time to propose, and luckily for us, Karen is available on that day, so we we can just propose now. And here's the vineyard lag once again. <laughs> it's so laggy. I Sadly, we're not proposing at the bar because it would take too long to actually wait. So now that we've proposed, now it's time to wait for the next Sunday to actually get married. We're pretty much done. All right, and we're done. And now it's time for the laggiest wedding you've ever seen in your life. For. <laughs> Because 12 people is way too many people for the N64 emulator that Bizhawk is. <laughs> Thanks for the GG's, guys. So yeah, I think I timed this run to be at 26.39 with, with our TA timing, so if you guys want to beat the re the current record by about two minutes and a half go ahead you're, you're gonna have lots of fun resetting in the mine because it's really the thing that changed a lot that changed the run a lot because the only th the only things that the only things that are in the run like pretty much stayed the same but then but then you you save on time on the money gathering by doing everything in one day instead of six so yeah thanks for having me guys thank you so much